over here you can see that I have a sentence with wrong spellings over there, so which is underlined out in red. So here uh, you can see that whenever I type in a wrong spelling, it underlines. So you can turn that off as well by going into tools and by going into spelling. And here you can see that underlined errors are checked on. So I can uncheck it to turn that off completely. But it is handy, so I'm just going to turn it back on by clicking it right there. So what I can do to correct it is, let's say for example, I want to correct this word. I can right click and you can see that there are suggestions right here. So you can ignore this as well and you can type this in or you can select always correct to uh, this word right here if you were to type in this uh, spelling right there. So you don't have to manually do it. So I'm just going to go around and then choose this and you can see that it has now entered the correct spelling. If you want to go through the uh, spell check for the entire document that is the entire slide, you can go to tools and then you can go to spelling and over here, you'll be able to see that we can use the spell check option. Once you do that, you can see that it goes through all of the wrong spellings right there. So here it says uh, this is the wrong spelling right here. So you can change it, ignore it or add it to dictionary. So I'm just going to change this out. And here you can see that it says checker. This is also wrong. So I'm just going to change this out. The correct. So this uh, this um, spelling is wrong as well. So I can ignore or change it. So I'm just going to change it out. Sometimes what happens is that you type in a name of someone like, like let's say, for example, uh, you have a some some kind of a name right here. And let's say this is a name and you want to uh, you, you want the system to recognize it as a correct spelling. So in order for you to do that, you can simply right click and then click on add uh, to dictionary. You can see that you can add a certain word to dictionary right here. And now what happens is that whenever you type in that uh, that name right there, it won't show it as uh, wrong right there and it gets added onto your personal dictionary. So that is how you can use the uh, spell check feature inside of Google Slides. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.